So what's in here? It's a rock. Just rocks? It's just a rock. No, you know what? I'm gonna push this bed. Yeah, he can't get me. He can't get me. It was hard to get over here. Oh. Is that it? Okay, so there was absolutely nothing for me in this room. There was a tinder box. <laughs> I like stories. Oh, hi. Oh. I'm just gonna. You've been in there already. I have? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what do I do? So basically, I just have to search every room I come across. Yeah, and also if you ever get stuck on an item that you need, like an item that you need to use an item for, use everything in your inventory on it, you never know. Like, there's a small part like, going to do something going to be in the game. What's in there? Yeah, what's in that bar? It's in the bar. It's true. You can't see down there. in here. Where is this place? I don't know where this is. Did I just die here? Oh wow. That's good. Wait, do I have all my do I have all my stuff? Okay. At least I have like all of my health now. So it's not the worst thing in the world when he kills you. Oh, that suck. <laughs> Over and over and over again. I'm gonna pick it. I know. Please be a diary. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering oh something forgotten as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, sour, is, is a cream. peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite They're and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Well, that was storage. Oh, I never went to the kitchen. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's been a while ago. It's gonna be 16. You found like the monster or something and you ran away. It's gonna be 16. Oh, hi. Wait, is that the same thing riding? Yeah. Yay. To the kitchen. That's the kitchen. No, we're not in the kitchen yet, you derp. 
Kitchen's down here. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I hear him. He's coming for me. To the damn music. I no, don't kill her. <laughs> don't kill her. Don't kill her. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> Lantern! These things are really useful, but I haven't had the chance to use one yet. What? These boxes. You hide from the monster in them. <laughs> like, come on! Come out! No, the stare staring at it makes your sanity go down. <laughs> yeah, there's so many of them too. I don't know what I have to do. I won't watch. It needs to be weakened further. Hello? How would it be weakened? I like my tea strong. Uh, wait, am I back over? Yeah, that was your buddy. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> old buddy, old pal. Oh, wait, wrong way. Yeah. This is a maze. Ink. Oh. So technically, I should be an hour away from being done with this game, but I'm not. Because <laughs> I've been so slow, because I don't know what to do. What's in here? Maybe I can... Let's then, then go to sleep. What do you have 35 of? What? 35... Tinder boxes. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna check out the other monitor for a second because I am terrified.
needs to be weakened further. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Leave a trail of tinder boxes. <laughs> I'm going to leave a trail. Oh, make sure to tell me this. That's the kitchen. It is? Down there is the kitchen. Where? The stairs. The stairs? What the? This is where I came in. Really? Yeah. We go then go into the other. Oh, yeah, go the other way. <laughs> yeah. The other way. You never did. I know. You still have one. So where's the kitchen? Wait, wait, wait. Go, go, go to your left. What, what does that say? Kitchen. kitchen. Okay, go that way. I'm scared of this room. Fourth of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffered death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Uh, I'm leaving. I don't want to find out what the hell happened to me. I'm going home. I'm going to start a new life. I'm gonna buy a new house. Of a knife! Actually, Look at this knife! Hack. Hack. What happens if I drop it in the fire? That was not a butter knife. That was like a steak knife. That was not. Where did that knife go? Where did that knife go? I'm gonna show you that knife. 